in this video i am going to show you how you can extract targeted emails from google yes welcome to sas media studio on this channel we create lessons relating to affiliate marketing website development cryptocurrency both new project and crypto update make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you are interested in such kind of videos now let's get into it I made video about this in two years ago but I decided to update you or make a new video this year with simplicity and clarity why do you need targeted emails you need targeted emails because you want to earn some money online so if you have a service or a product that you want to sell you will love to market it to people and there are a lot of ways you can market to people that is true email marketing or code email marketing wow i love code email marketing so we are grabbing people's email in order to send our services or our product to them and the reason why we need targeted emails is because we want people from a specific country and specific niche okay so for maybe nigeria or maybe from united states and people who are into banking you understand with that it's good for you to target people who might be interested in what you offer we are going to use three tools for this tutorial the first tool is obvious google yes because it is the main subject of this tutorial so we are going to use google to do the search then the second one will be light 1.4 email extractor that is going to help us to extract our emails from the search that we made the third tool is notepad that is where we are going to save our extracted emails so now let's head to the pc for the tutorial so the first we are going to use is google so we are going to do some search and we are going to use some keywords all right to do the search now all links will be provided at the description okay so you can just click on the link and you'll be redirected to these tools that i'm going to use okay and please if you want to learn how to create an email server for your own self okay your own smtp server i have a course on udemy so i'll leave the link at the description make sure you click on it and and also the first comment so that you can go and learn how to create a better and professional smtp server that lands in the inbox so now let's get into it okay so now this is google search so we are going to use three or four major keywords over here so the first one is the job title the second one is the kind of email that we want and the third one is the country or the city and the country you get the point so the first one is going to be the job title so let's say we want um accountant so accountant never count count accountant okay so the first one is accountant and the second one is what kind of email we want so we have a lot of email extensions okay or email clients such as gmail yahoo mail aol we have a lot of them so depending on what you want is what you are going to search over here so now um let's say i want gmail.com all right then space now since we want gmail.com then where do we want these emails from so we let's say um let's say florida okay uh and space usa or better still you can just omit florida then use usa now the reason why it is very important to use um the city or the states and the country is that it will help you to narrow the search to a particular city okay and that will help you to get more emails as compared to uh, targeting the whole country because there are a lot of people on their profile they have the city there 
but the country is not there and one thing is that most of the social platforms okay captures the country with their database okay behind the scene so it is not mostly on the user's profile so now so that is it then i am going to hit enter so now this is what happened okay when you scroll down you can see that we are not seeing anything here so you are going to cause some changes to our keywords i am trying to make certain mistakes okay for you to understand the whole concept of searching on google or finding or extracting or scrapping emails from google so now this search that we did we did not narrow it to a particular social platform so where are we getting the emails from or where do we want to extract the emails from so i am going to add it here okay then i am going to say let's say facebook all right so i am just going to hit enter again so now i am going to scroll down to see or to check if there are emails in this list all right so i search and search not like that wow what is the problem the problem is quotation marks and i'm going to explain why it is very very important to use quotation mark so now going back to the search over here so we are going to put the accountant in quotation mark sorry then we are going to add the gmail also in a quotation mark then um the facebook also in a quotation mark then let's hit enter now you can see that there are some emails in this list so you can see we have gmail over here we have one gmail over here we have another gmail we have a lot of gmails okay you see gmail over here so now the quotation marks helps us to separate the keywords from each other now when you make a search without the quotation mark the only thing you are trying to tell google is that all these words are all together you understand they are one particular sentence you understand but when you add quotation mark you are trying to tell them that you are looking for a specific keyword okay called accountant and also another keyword called gmail another keyword called facebook and this all these keywords should be in one particular metadata you understand so that is how to do this search that is the best way to do this search. make sure you add your quotation marks for it to work properly all right so now this data is accountants okay using gmail on facebook that are from florida in the united states of america so you can change the social platform to other another social platform okay it could be instagram here so you can search for instagram okay enter then all the search results are going to come from instagram because there are a lot of people who uses facebook but does not use instagram you understand so you can search based on the social platform so we can just track this to thread thread.com okay so i don't know whether thread yeah anyway uh, so i thought it was going to work so thread is um a kind of twitter or x form of platform for the meta company okay you can also check linkedin okay so you can see data over here you can also check um linkedin please it's dot com okay add dot com so that they will know that we are targeting the website itself okay so all the search results will from the website and also we can also search for x.com x.com so now we have learned how to search for emails from google now we have to learn how to extract all the emails that we have found all right so that is where we go to this website the light 1.4 email extractor all right so now we have gotten some emails now we need to extract these emails from this particular search result okay or search query so all we have to do is control plus a to select everything control plus c to copy it then come to light 
1.4 email extractor then paste everything here so now before everything you come to the separator over here okay just click on this and select new line so what it means is that it is going to separate each emails with the next line so one email will be at the top second third and just like that you understand we can also sort these emails according to the alphabetical order okay so you can just click on sort over here then you can see all right so now we are done with everything then you just have to click on extract and it has extracted our emails okay so you can see we had 56 emails so now we just have to just click here ctrl plus a to select or ctrl plus c to copy then we just have to paste it into our notepad all right so this is a notepad ctrl plus v to paste it over there so that is the emails that we have all right so because we sorted it why is the last email right so we can do this over 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 and over again changing the cities and the countries changing the email type changing the job title and also the social platform all right so now i am going to change um the job title over here to let's say um teacher all right then i'm going to just press enter all right so you can see it has brought out another information but before i proceed with anything i am reminding you i have a course on how to create your own smtp server or your email server for your bulk email sending that can help you to send more than twenty thousands of emails so i have this course on udemy i'll leave the link at the description and also the first comment go and click and enjoy this course and if you are into cryptocurrency I have my top 15 telegram crypto projects okay at the first comment make sure you check them out all right so now let's proceed so all you have to do is ctrl plus a then to select or ctrl plus c to copy come back to this section ctrl plus v to paste it then click on extract and you can see we have 54 emails over here ctrl plus a to select or and ctrl plus c to copy then add it to the emails now i have noticed something in the list you can see that we have a uh, full stop at the end of the email so we have to remove all these stuffs all right so what you are going to do is you are going to click on edit here and click on replace then we are going to search for dot com dot then you are going to replace that with dot com so whenever it sees dot com dot dot com dot it should replace it with dot com so we have example here so dot com dot okay dot com dot so you should replace with just dot com all right so i'm going to click on replace you can see replacing 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 so i'll just keep on replacing just like that okay just like that and it is going to replace everything over here so you can see okay so cannot find dot com dot again so let me okay so let me just go up so there's nothing like that again all right so that is what i noticed so i have cost changes to that so basically that is how you can extract targeted emails from google don't limit yourself to only x and usa it's okay try other platforms try other countries try other job titles or uh, business niche or business model all right so thank you for watching this video please subscribe if you are enjoying this video give me a like i love likes okay leave a comment at the comment section and let's meet in the next video goodbye